when it ended. I mean, you know, it was a tough shoot. It was back to being leading man, uh, showing up, you know, getting up at 5 a.m. every morning and running the show and carrying the load. So it was back to the old days, actually. I'm like, this leading man crap is for the birds. So you don't want to do the next You think I'm going to answer it directly like that? <laughs> he has skills in, in, in every direction. He's a very, very skilled actor, but he, he showed surprising ability as a director, as far as being comfortable, as far as knowing how to stage stuff, because he's he has a theatrical background. He knows how to stage a scene. Some directors don't know how to set a scene. Like, bad guys here, good guys there, you do this, you do that. Sometimes it's very clunky and awkward if someone doesn't know how to do that. I thought he was very elegant about the whole thing. It's, um, it's scary stuff because, you know, you can get hurt blowing stuff up and shooting at people. And, you know, what we do, we we take it very seriously so that nobody does get hurt. But it's always possible. This is what the, you got to be careful with movies like this. You don't just run out and do it. You have to have safety issues. You don't want anybody hurt for something that's fictional. That's my theory. Go big or go home. <laughs> you got 150,000 people there. You, you, you know, they're taking a lot of photographs. If you're going to have a crappy photograph taken of you, you might as well be wearing a goofy outfit. Wow. Every single on camera, and someone's going to get it wrong. Two of, two of you people here are going to get it wrong. <laughs> Evil Dead Remake, not part four. And now you'll write part four. Because <laughs> that's the last thing that you heard. Uh, are you going to no. be in it? I might. That's, I gotta play, I guess. The hell with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys.